Japanese fighter pilots made final arrangements for their deaths. The aviators penned farewell letters and slipped them into envelopes along with locks of hair and clipped fingernails that their loved ones could use for their funerals. On the morning of December 7, 1941, Japan launched a sneak attack on the U.S. Pacific Fleet's base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii as part of a plan to eliminate any potential challenge to Japanese conquests in Asia. The attack compelled the United States to enter World War II as a combatant, and to wage a costly, bloody struggle to defeat the Japanese Empire. The Japanese plan to attack Pearl Harbor was devised by Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, a former student at Harvard University who had served as Japan's naval attaché in Washington. Yamamoto knew that the United States had far greater resources than Japan and that his country could not win a protracted war. Japanese forces trained for about a year to prepare for the attack. They added wooden fins to their aerial torpedoes and made other modifications so that they could work on short runs at the 45-foot average depth of Pearl Harbor. The Japanese Foreign Ministry wanted to present the United States with a declaration of war prior to the attack so that they wouldn't violate international law. But they were blocked by the Japanese military, which didn't want to jeopardize the operation. The Japanese attack force, which included six aircraft carriers and 420 planes, sailed from Hitokapu Bay in the Kuril Islands on a 3,500-mile voyage to a staging area 230 miles off the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Japanese torpedo bombers flew just 50 feet above the water as they fired at the U.S. ships in the harbor while other planes strafed the decks with bullets and dropped bombs. The attack killed 2,403 service members and wounded 1,178 more and sank or destroyed six U.S. ships. They also destroyed 169 U.S. Navy and Army Air Corps planes. The attack on Pearl Harbor was followed the next day by Japanese air attacks on U.S. bases in the Philippines, Guam and Wake Island. The use of kamikazes peaked during the bloody Battle of Okinawa, when suicide pilots swarmed American vessels. In one 80-minute span alone, more than 20 kamikazes targeted the destroyer USS Laffey, which managed to survive the assault. No divine wind however, would save Japan from defeat in World War II. In August 1945, the United States dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and Soviet forces invaded Japanese-occupied Manchuria. Emperor Hirohito announced Japan's unconditional surrender on August 15, bringing World War II to a close. <laughs>